Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Snowy Yu-Gi-Oh! And we're going to pick up where we left off with the fairy deck. Um, last last uh, video we were able to take the win against frogs. It wasn't as hard of a matchup as I thought it was going to be. Um, we were fortunate enough in game 2 to draw the mask over Shrek, but that's kind of just like a blowout against that deck anyways. But I'm glad we were able to play against it because I do consider frogs to be one of the best, if not the best deck in Edison. It's just so oppressive. Monarchs are so hard to deal with. But game one we were able to get out Christia and then game two we had the Massacre Restrict and it was kind of able to get us enough turns uh, of chip damage to where, we were, to where we, were, we were able to win the game. This is uh this is okay. I mean it's not great, but Ooh, that's a bad sign for sure. This play is really strong. Especially against a deck like this, because this is like a, a slower paced, grindier type deck and I don't really know how we're gonna be able to hit two tokens every turn and actually get damage in. Cause it's basic, basically it's just a um, when you open these two it's just drill warrior discard dandy every turn. Probably a Raiko singing. Thought it might be a Raiko, it's kind of why I wanted to hit it. I didn't want to lose any of our back row here, even though it's nothing great. What did you search? Lone fire, okay. Uh, main phase two. Set, set. I mean, we have the honest for the titanial to get a fairy engrave. Um, so I imagine that's what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to do that in the two back row, but. Token, get Titanial, I'm sure. Won't fire, then Titanial. Probably has Avarice. Still in a bad spot, unfortunately. Okay, it's better than Avarice. It's probably always going to Gold Sark for though. This Avarice, oh, Heavy Storm, makes sense. Mm. I mean, we have a play. Let's see what we banish here. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Oh man, I feel like we kind of have to do this or else we're just going to get too far behind. Especially if, especially if he plays multiple titanium. Go ahead and get some damage in. Um, maybe phase two. And path. If you hear anything in the background, it's just my one-year-old daughter, Rosie. She uh, likes to hang out with me whenever I'm in my man cave area. Two fairies. What do we want to do here? I feel like summon the Thunder King would be ideal. Just really hope that's not a Raiko. Please don't be a Raiko. It's a Raiko. Okay, main phase two. Um, yeah, that's tough. We're at 8k, it's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. I guess, yeah, I guess he needed to just get rid of that, maybe? Um, I don't know, we're not in a good spot. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. Banish <laughs> top, there we go. We could have used that. Okay, we're still at 8k. Be nice if he'd set a back row so we could get like some utility out of this dust tornado here. It's just sitting here. But if he heavy storms us, I don't really care. Okay. Uh, it's not really good. Not a good card to draw. Well, it actually does a good card to draw. Um, I'm gonna stop activate. I'm not gonna activate it this turn. We don't need the boost. I'm just gonna set the judgment. Or actually, yeah, it's heavy storm. There's no need to set the judgment. I just need a way to make Christy alive here. Mm. Alright, we just need one more turn now. Let's see what happens. He knows we have Christia, so he's, he doesn't. If that's another Raiko, he probably doesn't want to pop our monsters. Okay, we might just win the game right here. Maybe. It's 
three fairies. By trading off these two, that gives me four. But could that be the third Ryko? Is the question. I knew it. Okay, so all three Rikos are gone, which is nice. Um, main phase two, we're not attacking the Gores. We'll tribute off these two. For Christia. Um, then we'll pass. Okay, it's not a Raiko. It's nice. I'm not too concerned about the back row because we have four in grave. So, I'm not going to summon the Honest and risk getting five. I'm just going to attack. That way, if he has an answer to this. Um, see if I can get him to use his heavy storm by setting the defrozen. That way we can have the solemn to kind of just go for game the following turn. Yeah, I'm not doing anything here other than just attacking. Because if he has defrozen, I can just drop the second Christie in hand. Phase two. I will set this now because if he heavy storms me, he's going to lose all of his cards. Yeah, nice. I think we played that really well, actually. I'm happy with how that went. Um, okay, what would we want to side in here? Going second, these for sure to be able to hit the Ryko so our Ryko don't pop our floaters. Um. That's probably it as far as going second. I mean, this is not going to be good because Drill Warrior is going to be banished. So we can cut. Um, oh no, I don't really want to cut much here. B. Return. Um, Thunder King's pretty good against this deck. More so going first and second, but it's still. I think it's still worth playing for sure. Um, just one more card. Maybe Cyber Valley. These cards are, can be kind of gimmicky and um, dead draws, so I feel like this is a better way to do it. Better, better cards. Especially if he goes set one first turn, I can just special Cyber Dragon attack and then set my recruiter or whatever. Um, and then just not have to worry about that getting popped. But we went through three Rikos that game and we're still able to win. Chrissy is so good. Oh my gosh. Like, when you're not playing this deck, you think, yeah, Chrissy is really good, but like it loses the D Prison and Bottomless, blah, 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 all this stuff. But. If you're playing against decks that aren't playing those cards, it's almost like just free. Especially if you play like correctly and like manage your graveyard properly and don't you know don't like overcommit to where even if they answer your Christia, like it's just going to be live again the following turn. So yeah, I'm kind of like pretty impressed with this deck so far. It's it's just it's a lot better than I thought. I knew it was good, but it's a lot better than I thought. The cards are just so annoying to deal with. Oh, come on. But he did open, like, 
the best possible hand or like pretty close to the best possible hand he could have had i would assume i mean he had the debris dragon he had the quick draw he had the dandelion um he had the dandelion he had just about everything so it's kind of cool when we're able to win those type of games going second and our hand wasn't really anything crazy either but uh the Christ christia just got us there That's so good <laughs> i just can't believe how good this card is i used to I, I used to test i was testing out christia sworn months ago but i didn't really like it because i felt like light sworn already had enough bricks in the deck and adding christia to the mix just kind of increase the the chances of just breaking or opening unplayable hands and that's what was happening to me but in this deck and this deck is just so good like it's it's pretty unreal how easy it is to just make it live so um yep i'll see you guys in the next video appreciate it thanks